Right everybody, it's the 7th of May 2023 and yesterday King Charles III was cr crowned at Westminster Abbey and I watched it all day from 7 in the morning to half 8 at night and I watched a bit more of the news, watched it at home, watched all the people getting soaking wet um, watched all the people getting soaking wet. I don't know if there's toilets up there. So I've never walked through there. I was wondering whether I should. Um, I'm going to try it a minute. I haven't done this before. Anyway, I might want to walk today. Hello. When I, I came on the bus in the week and, uh, it didn't, it didn't stop at Breen. They were doing something to the road. I had to go all the way to Burnham. <laughs> oh. So I thought, I have never walked through here actually, but it does invite people in. I'm just gonna turn off Right, here we go. It's the 7th of May, 2023. Now, they only built all this over the last year. This used to be all fields going along. I expect in the end it'll go all the way to Breen. So I'm making the most of it. It's a lovely day today for a walk. You can get a thousand pound fine if you come here in, um, out of season because of the birds. It's a protected area this. It's only open for five weeks of the year. And they padlock the gates. There's rare birds that nest here um, all year round, apart from five weeks where they go somewhere else. <coughs> there are cows, I can see the cows are all lying down. <sighs> Quite good, this, I've been looking forward to this. Um, for quite a while I've been looking forward to it. So I think I'm on video. Yeah, I'm just gonna stop a minute, take a picture. I've got no idea how long this will take either because when you're following a river, it weaves in and out. So it's not like going straight to Breen. God, I'm so glad I'm doing it. I just hope that it doesn't rain. I haven't brought a thick coat and I haven't brought an umbrella. I've got my scarf on. I've got a, a winter jumper. Well, they're light. With the jumper and the trousers I've got on, they're light really and you can wear them in the winter and in, in the cooler parts of the spring because I mean, it won't be long now before I start putting the shorts and stuff on and getting the clothes out for warmer spring and hot summer which is a very very short period of the year basically I would say a good eight to nine months of the year I like this and colder and uh, we get a, we, we can get the heat wave we get them and they last for about three days and you get a couple of them in the summer and that's the summer um, but here we are I expect they'll build all over here this will be covered in caravans it'll be like one big caravan city I don't know why people want to come and camp like that, you know. I want a caravan out in the middle of nowhere. <coughs> like we're having a camper van. Looks to me, I can see people walking over there as well. Looks to me as if there's several ways you can get to Breen. 
they've opened up the fields. Cow sitting down in a good sign, is it? Yeah, I mean, if it takes me six hours to walk it, so be it. I'll be aiming for the Bring Down farm over there at the end with the house with a farmer called Martin who was a friend of my sister's <coughs> I, anyway there's the sewage works over there uphill in the distance it's a bit misty today and it's a bit windy But this is where the birds all nest along here. Um, this is where the birds all nest here. I'm glad the cows are sat over there. They probably they probably keep. I think they'll keep the cows out of the way for these five weeks. I think they will. Although it looks to me as if they could get up there anyway but normally the cows are munching all this lush grass along here western super mare in the distance yeah you can so it's a very short window there's in fact there's only three weeks left to walk this um, and I want to fit in a walk the other way now I did say to myself, why don't you walk back the same way? Then you'll be facing that way coming. There's Brent Knoll there. Look, I'm going to stop and take right a picture. Back on for a minute. Oh, I can see more people coming this way. And you can see the cows have been about, but I reckon I'll take them out for these weeks. Over there, you can't see it very well, but there's a red mini submarine thing. I've been floating about up and down that thing for quite a while now. I can't quite see it on it, where is it? I can't see with these. Feeling they might have had something similar on the sea monster when, when it came. Now, what I think they've done, they've taken all the the cows off the land during the five week period to allow us humans to also enjoy. And I, I'm getting a move on, I don't want to be followed by anyone because they get on your bloody nerves, people do. I think you still got it on record chill. Okay, turn off. Over there is that uh, submersible thing, orange. It's further down now. It was up, up further up before, and they had a similar one on the um, the sea monster. They had it on one, just like that. N nobody knew what it was when it first arrived on the beach in Burnham. It was ob obviously some sort of submersible. Yeah, I, I was just saying to myself, I might actually walk back this way as well. Although I would imagine it... I'm not timing myself, but I mean... I probably got off the bus around about... 22, 10, something like that. I thought it would take about 20 minutes on the bus. Could have been even just after half nine I got off the bus. And I'm glad I didn't leave it too late. Now this is the River Axe, by the way, that we're watching here. And I've never been on this side of the bank, but I have walked on that side of the bank, coming down and, and come over, and I've walked to the other side. So this is a really great experience, but it's, you're only allowed to do it. Oh, look, fresh pack, fresh pack. 
you're only allowed to do it oh I can see some more people or are they on the other side you can't tell yet I might have to walk right around there that's what I mean it might take longer going back so I might do beach and then do the walk the other way another time because I can see people there um, but I've got a feeling they're on the other side of the bank and we're going to go around like that I think, yeah a couple of old ships that have been hanging about on the axe for ages of course you've got the uphill marine lake and marina up there Nobody following me at the moment. I've got the whole place to myself. Now you can imagine how awful this would be in a storm. You know, it would be, wouldn't it? But I've got to get to that house over there. And there's a shop over there. Then I can make a decision what to do. I can either have, um, I, could, I might be able to treat myself to some chips. It's like a day out. Yeah, there's an old ship there. Old sloop or yacht. Looks a bit battered, doesn't it? Looks like it could do with craning out and giving a bit of tender loving care, that one. Like people over that side of the river, so we can see people on the other side. It's good, isn't it? That's lovely with that yellow mustard really highlights spring down doesn't it and the farm I've taken some nice pictures when the sun was out a minute ago yeah I definitely want to do it I'd like to do it once a week because like I said you only got three weeks left and uh, because what's the date today yeah it's, a, it's about two weeks ago it first opened to the public I can see a few people right over there but I can see people people thinking how did they get there unless I have got to go where they are because sometimes for example the river might bend round like that and then like that that's what I'm thinking I might have to be where they are you might not be able to go or maybe you can go that way a decision will be made eventually. It could be that you go that way. No, I can see. No, I can see the river bending that way, though. No, I don't think you, it, you do. I don't think you do. Over and out for a